Hello everyone, this is Jim from Hanson's Phil M Life. Today I wanted to do a, a follow-up review on my Bajaj RE. <clears throat> my wife calls it the Bumblebee. It's a yellow Bajaj. And uh, we had some modifications done to it, which was, were noted in a previous video. We've had it now for, I believe, about a year and a half. And I wanted to kind of give you an idea of how I like it. Has it been reliable? You know, a little bit of everything. So, let's get started. First of all, does this vehicle satisfy my transportation needs? Yes and no. For short distances, from Dumaguete down to Zamlangita, or up to Valencia, up north, I haven't been up north past Sablan, so I'm not really sure, but um, it's fine for that. And it gives us the ability to take two or three people in the back seat, uh, myself in the front seat. I took off the, the jump seats. Uh, they had to be cut down. Actually, I think they need to be cut down to fit into the vehicle after the modifications were done. So we don't use them. I just took them off. Um, for long distances, when we went down to to Zamwangita, we actually went all the way down to Sayatan. And that was a long trip on that vehicle because the roads here, they... You go down it, and they're kind of at an angle so that the water runs off. That means that I had to fight the handlebars the whole way. Not bad, but a little bit. And it kind of wore on me. Um, has it been a reliable vehicle? Yes, it's been very reliable. I haven't had to take it in for any repairs. Only oil changes, oil and filter changes. With the exception of when I first got it, I had a little bit of shifting problem and it was just a matter of they had to adjust the cable on the shifter. Um, comfort. Around town, it's fine. Uh, on a longer trip, so-so. Um, that trip down to Sayatan, I could feel it. There was not quite enough padding. Now we could modify that and put in a same memory foam pad like they have on motorcycles. Uh, <clears throat> when we get in there we have two or three people sitting in the back seat and there's also room on the shelf behind each of them to put some bags and we put food when we go to the beach. And, and well, now we have the luggage racks up on top and we actually have not used it because with the pandemic, we have not left the area. I really still want to take a longer trip to try it out. Uh, I'm going to wait until after the pandemic is brought back in more normal times. Well, anyway, <clears throat> what capacity does this vehicle fill? Well, it takes, it holds more people well, it fits more people than a motorcycle. Although I have seen four or five people on a motorcycle. Um, it fits between that motorcycle and a car. Um, car is quite a bit more expensive. But would probably be safer. Um, I have been involved in an accident here. Uh, not my fault. It was someone racing to get around cars, going down the sidewalk, and when I turned in front of the other cars, when they stopped to let me turn, he hit me, T-boned me. So, <clears throat> car would be safer. The power, does it have enough power to get around? Well, with four people in it, we have driven up to Valencia. You know how steep those roads are and it did just fine. Um, yeah, maybe if it was a 250 instead of a 200, you know, you'd be able to fly up the hill. 
much faster, but you know, some of those steep spots I've had to downshift in a second. Um, it's, it's worked fine though. Um, maintenance are the kind of support that we get from the Bajaj dealer here, which is MCOR. They've always done a great job. I haven't had troubles getting it scheduled. They've been easy to work with and uh, now the one final thing is there have been a couple problems with or let's see idiosyncrasies with the uh, the Josh. the shifter is on the left hand so is the clutch and I took a little bit of getting used to um, there have been a few times like if I stop the vehicle to get out go someplace and it's in third gear I didn't downshift. Sometimes when I want to get it into neutral, we got to rock the vehicle so that we can get it down to neutral, right? Because it'll only start in neutral. Um, you know, the, the tires are small and they're fine for around town. I wish that you could get a bigger, wider tire. Um, you know, like the balloon tire bicycles, they're the fat tire bicycles. I wish I could get something like that. You go down some of these roads that are a little rough, and it gets, it's kind of a rough ride. But I think that would be true in possibly even in a car on some of these roads. Now the cost was, with all of our modifications, I think I figured out that we had about 220,000 pesos in it. Um, that included the modifications, the taxes and fees on top of the original cost. So about 220000 for us. Would I do buy this vehicle again? Well, for our needs, yeah, I think so. Um, I really, if I was going to live here long term, like forever, but since after... Julie and the kid get out of school. We're planning on moving back to the U.S. at least for a time being, for a time. <clears throat> I wouldn't want to have to sell the vehicle if we did come back and buy another one. I'm not going to have a place to store it, so we would have to sell any of those big ticket items. So, Since we have other alternatives for transportation, um, a van or taking a bus or flying, no, I would not buy a car. And if I did buy a car, it would be a pickup. You want a big vehicle here so that, you know, these motorcyclists that are, drive crazy, just like other places there, they drive crazy. You know, you're safer and they're not gonna try to intimidate you so much. So, yeah, I would get it and I would use it. It's good for small family. Like there's three of us so to be able to go anywhere to the mall. Works out good. We can go to the mall, do the shopping, get haircuts, whatever. And then we have room for putting the groceries in and we drive home. The only problem is my wife will not drive in the Philippines. She won't drive a motorcycle and she won't drive the, the uh, Bajaj. If we had a car, she says she doesn't want to drive it because the drivers here are... Hmm different so if you have any questions about the Bajaj give me a shout out down in the, in the uh, comment section I'll be happy to answer any questions <laughs>